All right, I'm here with legendary Columbus native uh, Bob Dealey. Uh, Matt side with Bob Dealey, also the author of, can you show us the, the book? Okay, we have Genial Gene Mills, Mean Will to Power, subtitle. Nietzschean Interpretation of Amateur Wrestling. Uh, I published this book back in 1982. Here it is in the year of our Lord, 2008, so there's a intermittent period there of approximately 26 years. And from out of the blue, we have here at Liberty Olentangy, Gene Mills giving a clinic here. His claim to fame is, I've seen Gene in all of his, many of his matches, and he has a vitality that carries not only on the mat, but off the mat. This is his uniqueness. And his greatness is due to the fact that he can teach in a humorous manner. Very few coaches possess this. And unless there's humor and laughter brought into wrestling, it becomes a stale sport. So this is his gift to wrestling. And uh, I was inspired by not only what he did on the mat, but also off the mat. He has a congeniality that's almost aphrodisiac in all of his manifestations. I don't know what I has said, but it sounds good. <laughs> but anyway, I have on the back here a synopsis uh, of my career, and I have a picture here with Wayne Holmes. Can we get a picture of that? Yeah. I'm going to zoom in on that a little bit. Wayne Holmes. Got okay. That in focus. Gotcha. Okay. He made the Olympics in 1972 as a Greco-Roman 105-pounder over in Munich. Uh, Wayne has since uh, developed into quite a uh, business person. He's head of the Ohio Park <laughs> Cleveland Division of uh, Ohio Natural Resources, and he's doing very well, his family's developing, and this other picture is my son, Bob Jr. Now, Bob Jr.'s claim to fame is he's the only high schooler who ever won a senior national title until Yehuda's present Greco, I mean, freestyler at 122 made it in the Peking Olympics, so uh, this is quite an achievement, and this happened in 70. Two, and they thought it was old man Dealey and here was my youngster, so <laughs> okay. this is how this evolved. Okay, now you also do a lot of the Ohio State matches, you do, right. and also anything in the Columbus area, any all-star matches, anything like that, you do a lot of that on, actually it's a channel, a Time Warner channel uh, 25, okay, and there's WOW channel 20 and Insight channel 25. So you're in Cleveland, you're in Dayton, you're in the Miami Valley, you're all over. Right. Okay. And your website is www.mattsidewithbobdealey.com. Okay, and is that where people can buy the book? Uh, yes, uh, people can buy the book uh, at, uh, well, there's Cliff Cahill's. Uh, I got it. That's the primary source, Cliff okay. Cahill. Okay. What else do you want people to know about Bob Dealey and wrestling? Bob Bailey in wrestling is old talk now. In other words, uh, I'm 83 at this stage of my life. I feel that I've made my contribution and I'm looking for somebody to take over and manifest an interest in this sport because it's a cult sport that has an intense following, but it's its own worst enemy. We've got to make this a drug-based sport wherein, well, with this... What we don't have is the element of cruelty in Russia. The element of cruelty? It's absent. Now, what we need to do with wrestling is to make it something like ultimate fighting. Okay. More now, blood. Pardon? More blood? Well, the blood factor, uh, yeah. The cruelty is an integral component of life in all of its manifestations. See? And somehow, we made wrestling a pantyhose sport. Pantyhose sport? Yeah. So, I mean, here, in fading out of the picture, I'm just hoping somebody like Gene Mills can take this sport and give it a higher elevation. He has something that's immeasurable as far as contagious, favorable reaction. These kids eat, this, eat his clinics up. He has this spirit, the will to win. 
the will to power in all of its manifestations. I saw him under duress and I seen him beat Billy Glatzoff over at the World Cup of Toledo. Between 73 and 87 at 89 at Toledo, the World Cup Games of Wrestling. These were fantastic. We haven't seen anything like this. We need this back into wrestling. Uh, hopefully, uh, wrestling becomes a dynamic sport again. I don't like the present international rules. I think they're too darn short. Two, two, and two. It sort of reminds me of a tennis match as opposed to actual competition. I wish they would go to three, three, and three and penalize stalling. There's no passivity anymore. Right. That, and there should be. The aggressive wrestler should be an advantage. Right. Uh, but I, all in all, I, I was surprised at the intensity of the wrestling. So the wrestlers have to go out a little faster. But if they get a point, then I just thumb my nose at you and that's the end of the game. <laughs> uh, Bob, is there, is, there, uh, is there anything you do now? But What else do you do besides you know, cover wrestling? Okay, you're retired. I'm retired. I play golf. I work out. I walk a little. I'm 83. I feel pretty good. I'm even a diabetic. And uh, we got a, a rare person here. I think we ought to bring him in, Jim Humphreys. Get him okay. in. Well, we're going to go grab Coach Humphreys, and uh, we'll catch up with you later, Bob. Thanks. Okay, very good.